Hello everyone, Ekinov here, and welcome back to Xenogears. When we last left off, we had gotten the ship. So let's have a talk with everyone. So they were this close to having it up and operational. Yeah, they were pretty close. Hammer? Bro, this thing is incredible. Boy, is this exciting. Yeah, it is. Rico doesn't have anything to say. I think we can do this. Okay, Zitan, let's have a talk. Well then, shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Well, everyone, this could be dangerous, so please be seated. Is everyone ready? It will... shake a little. Couldn't you tell us? A bit sooner? Not really. I mean, we're about to launch a giant aircraft. And you may be noticing just by looking at this. Isn't this a little familiar? Well... If you are, that's because this is the same ship that we saw that hologram of. It's also really silly how it's designed because there's no way this thing would actually fly in the real world, but eh, let sci-fi have its things. It's got like all these silly um propellers on top of it that would actually do nothing but as we can see it's flying through the sky so it must be doing something right it's a weird ass plane and before you get too excited we don't exactly have an airship yet I mean I'm sure the story's not gonna let us have it this early Shaking has decided we should be in good shape for now. Bro, what are we gonna do now? Go to the Vera's plant? Yeah. Faye? What happened, Doc? Oh, yeah, this guy shows up. Garf. I forgot about him. I legitimately did. That's. It's him. Faye, where are you going? I'm going out with the gear. Faye! My master? They're off with their gears. Even Ellie? Garf. Gar. Graf. It's Graf, not Garf. I keep calling him Garf. I'm going to keep calling him Garf just to insult him. Garf! My name's Graf! It's Garf now. The Goliath wasn't built for you to use. You must remain on this land a little longer. I can't allow you to leave. Now, he is pretty powerful. He can deal a lot of damage, but he won't necessarily kill you outright. Super guided shot will half your health. That's exactly what it will do. And also a note a point to note, he will not target Ali. So there's that going for you. See, it exactly half their health. So, what do you do? Your booster and you blow the living daylights out of them. With... Ether attack, number one. Also, his melee can deal a lot of damage, so... Yeah, you're gonna be in pretty rough shape. But you may also want to just beat him up. That also works pretty well. Unfortunately, right now I can't heal Faye's gear, but I hope he focuses a little more on. Um... Nope, Faye's gear's going down. I have to do this the hard way. Or, it, or sort of the easy way, just... Yeah, 
Um, I'm going to use a special option on him that fixes frame. Hope so that I can endure, endure a lot of attacks while I rain damage down on him. He only uses his super shot at the start and then he just melees you for a shit ton of damage for something so small. But I'm going to attack him anyway and deal like 1200 damage with melee. But it's less reliable to hit than Aoife is. And he goes, he goes down pretty easily, so yeah, he says stuff, in that case then... Faye, hold on tightly now. Huh? Unconscious Faye is holding on tightly. While the enemy is throwing off the ship due to some maneuver. And the gear falls off as well. In the inside, everything's a little topsy turvy. I'm slipping. Ah, ooh -wee. ah look out! I see. It's all right to throw the black creep, but Bro and Master Rico are as well. If it's them, they are okay. Never mind that hammer. Go to that trigger. Trigger? You mean this? What do I do with? You must fire. Look, it is coming. They're here! Panic, 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 panic! Hammer, calm down and concentrate. It's hitting straight at us. All you have to do is aim well and pull the tri pull the trigger and fire. Aiming. Right. Right. Dead on target. Dead on target. Like this? Good. Keep it there and do not move your aim. Get ready to fire in five. Four, three, two, one, fire! Nice shot, Hammer! Yeah, 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 yeah! Woot! Master Sir, did you just see that? My mad skills? What mad skills? I just might be a genius, what? By the way, what's up with Bro and the gang? You don't think they fell off? Well, at least you still got me. It should be a piece of cake with me around, right, Master Sir? Smack! Got what he deserved. So, that's that dealt with. All of our gears are repaired, I think. No, uh, I no, we're not getting into a fight for a while yet, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, what have you got to say? That person wasn't aiming for me. Why? As I pointed out, doesn't attack Ali. Oh, Master Rico, please don't be mad. It was just a joke. Master Rico, it's because of you that I am what I am. Come on. Shut up. Yikes! And he has nothing to say to me. Now we can just go talk to Cetan. Doc, I don't know how to say this, but I've got a bad feeling. Are you thinking of the man in black? Thinking about him will not get you anywhere. First of all, it's not like you. It's not that, it's not, not like... It's like this feeling of uneasiness that I've had before. You too? Well, to tell the truth, I'm getting a terrible feeling of deja vu. I wonder why, and I feel like we're being watched. You know, I am getting a terrible sense of deja vu. I remember being watched like this long ago. Bingo! Information was correct. It's Kislev's... It's huge, it appears to be a... That's it, the Goliath, the one from the underground factory we've heard so much about. Crap, they're taking revenge. But they're going to bomb Bledovic. Guess who? None other than our favourite pirate, Bartholomew. Our favourite pirate, Prince. Either way, we need to let him go so fast, right? Well, what? He's gonna try to take us out of the sky, isn't he? Gunner! Gunga and Gungani, Gungani. No Bart missile fueling. It'll take 15 seconds 
from opening the hatch to engage the illuminator. Okay. France. France. That's what I was trying to remember. Our dolphin friend. I don't hear anything other than the surface wind waves and our engine. Fred is minimal from looking at the radar and sonar. Jumping overboard. Here we go. Batcon level one. This is a very familiar scene. Y young master, what is happening? What was the alarm all about? Young master again? Battle stations everyone, surface navigation, close the vents, blow the main tank, prepare for anti-aircraft battle upon surface. Just doesn't know when to give up. Young master, the gun game miss gun gun the missiles. You need permission from more than half of the crew members to surface combat, stand by with anti-aircraft guns. Gunnery, give me the trigger for the BART missiles. Oh, that egotistical brat. But... That's a missile of some kind. And there's a ship of some kind. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Okay, I'm glad. Anyway, Cetan, is it okay? We're flying... We're flying in such a large ship. What if Kislev or Ravar finds us? We're fine. I fought ahead and picked a course over the sea. There are not any military units stationed out here. Even then, this thing is not going down... Not something that will go down so easily. This cannot be right. Are we being attacked? <laughs> Enemies? I don't know, but I did not think they would be submerged here. Oh, so much what you were saying. Are we okay? Unfortunately, there is no way we can avoid descending. Faye, Ellie, get out first. I'll follow later. But, we have no time for a debate now, Faye. Do you think you have the skills needed to keep the Goliath in the air as long as possible? Uh, then hurry up and get out. Now then. And you too, Hammer. You're going too. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, quit dawdling. We're going. Yes, sir. Now, where do they... That ship. Sigurd. I think you need to rethink your methods of disciplining. <laughs> damn right you... Damn right he does, Seton. This is the second time that Bart has sunk a ship that we're on. Of course, admittedly, both times it looked like an enemy ship to him. Ah ha ha! That is the power of the Bart missile. Even Kissless prototypes can't stand up to it. Uh, hey. Stay, stay back! Keep away! <laughs> Wasn't too bright of you, was it? And it looks like everything exploded, but don't worry, that's not what actually happened. Because if it exploded, there would be remains. So we were either completely disintegrated or sent somewhere else. Ooh, dimensional vibrations. We have the coordinates of those recent dimensional vibrations. North 24, East 92, Ignis in the Lahan region, the Northeast Ocean. Okay. From the wave pattern, it's definitely a gatekeeper. Hmm, that's good to know. There are no regular mainland flights. Could it be Chevette's Alpha Aura? No, the mass is different. It's much. It's a much smaller pattern. I can't believe that the labs have a ship equipped with a gatekeeper. It's probably... It probably is Kislev's. The last purge was not complete. Damn you. 
Groff, shouldn't you pursue? What? The one who caused you so much pain and grief is on that ship, and is heading for Akuvi. Put all crew members on emergency alert. We're attacking the Kislev ship. We can't, Commander. We don't have orders from the capital yet. If we move from here... I don't care. I won't allow them to escape. Uh, she's not very happy with that. She's the one with all the power out of the... She's the actually dangerous one out of the two of them. I believe I already said your tricks will do you no good. I'm just trying to help. Didn't I help get those shackles off? Now you know the vessel will only respond to the chosen one. They don't know this, but he is necessary for Car. He's the very meaning of Car's existence. Yes, I must thank you after all. You did help me, didn't you? Huh? Was it for me or for him? Or for yourself? A mysterious in inner conflict between the villains. What's going on? I don't have a freaking clue. I really don't. Cause like, Mang's a mystery to me, and Gaff is just like, oh, he's a dick, but he's still a mysterious dick. We will take the boundary between gates one and two, it's the shortest way to Kuvi. Fine. This is from Calvina. Domina is withdrawing green in high shell she will pursue the aerial battleship and we're back to these guys my god I hate disobedience Ramses orders us to excavate the anima relics in Ignis and to watch over the lands what is he we can recover the anima relics anytime moreover we learned that he was on the transferred ship Ramses was probably after him. So it was the trauma. Nay, in this case, Ningrit, it was the severe external wounds. According to the memory cube, we have found multiple subjects around him that possess the animus factor. It is Sufradi, the subject of the M project. Yes. Coincidence? Nay, it was beyond that. They were either attracted to him or unexpectedly it's developed the same conditions as same condition as five hundred years ago. This does not rule out the possibility they planned it this way intentionally. The transfer point is Aquavi. It's near the Fames. If it's Aquavi, Krillian headed that way. Krillian? Himself? What for? It seems to have found it. For over 4,000 years he searched for Zeboyum's legacy. Legacy? Is that, the, is, it that is that the technology he was talking about? Yes. Molecular Engineering Nanotechnology. The land of all creation, the capital of Zeboyum culture, resting beneath the ocean of Aquavi. For 19 years, the Ephos kept it secret. Is this acceptable, Cain? Emperor Cain says, yes, it will do for now. 19 years, that co coincides with the time when the Earth shifted. Indeed. But I don't understand, that technology doesn't seem that crucial to us. He is still a lamb, giving him the ability to do as he wishes is, un is questionable. There are times when even we do not know what he is thinking. Let it be, I will take responsibility for that. On another matter, weren't you all going to eliminate it? It's just by chance. It is probable the location is Ignis. Anyway, I never believed it would be eliminated so easily. The purge was a failure. This shall never happen again. If the animists were are uh, together, it is all the more reason. Yes. Cain, why are you so concerned about us? So concerned about it. To us, he is insignificant. You can only 
It could only be a poison to us. It could never be a remedy. I know, Val. You don't still believe that, do you? That is merely an illusion. Not even an ideal. The result is what I am now. It is as you see it. Or rather, it is the emotion you have long forgotten. Just a... Cain, we are gods. I'm not so sure Cain agrees, but I got no idea what Cain thinks. Emperor Cain's a bit of a weirdo. Ugh. Where am I? I'm in, a, I'm in a floating piece of metal. Where am I? I was with Faye, heading for the rare block. Faye, where are you? Faye! And we're just Ellie right now, but don't worry. Rumble, rumble. There's a rumble from over here. I wonder what it is. And if we go here and press X... Faye jumps out! We have Faye! Ellie! You're awake! I a Am I awake? What were you doing? I was looking around inside here. There's less than two days worth. Of what? Food! We're lucky we even f we found any. But where is everyone? Are we the only survivors? We gotta do something. I guess I'll go catch some fish. Faye! They're okay. What? They're okay. Doc, Rico, Hammer, everyone. They're all gonna be okay. Hammer, Rico, wake up! Where are we? What's this, what, what is this place? Something smells. We're inside the ship of Bart and his crew. They rescued us after we were shot down in the go Goliath. Who the heck are Bart and his crew? They'll say they are bandits. Robin Avere. Bart is their leader, though he is still a young man. A robber in this day and age, huh? A man with an attitude. I like it. Do you want to start off by going to meet Bart? <clears throat> you read my mind. I'm staying here. So let's go see Bart. With these two. Next time. On Xenogears. My name's been Akinov. Hope you've had a good time. A good no Nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just being a dick. We can talk to Ma Mason. Oh, Dr. Zuki, I'm sorry to put you out so much. We should have stopped the young master. I am terribly sorry. Uh, my chronic lumbago has gotten worse since I hustled in a veer. Uh, so. We can look around the ship a bit, um... What we can't do, just as a notable fact, is go into this. This is room seems to be for ladies use only. Let us excuse ourselves. But we want to go talk to Bart, so let's go... to the bridge. Up to the bridge. And we'll do a few more. There's a little more that I'm going to do this episode, but not a whole lot. We'll get into a bunch of more story stuff a little bit later. Let's talk to Bart. Well, if it isn't Dr. C. Tanizuki and uh, his very big friend. I see you're finally woken up. I am terribly sorry about what happened. Please forgive me. I have a name, you know. It's Ricardo Banderas. But everyone calls me Rico. So what are you apologizing to us for? I suppose I'd better stop beating around the bush. I'm not usually this frank or apologetic, but well... What he's trying to say is this. The people who shot us down and the people who saved us are one and the same. The ship's crew. You don't mean... Like the life which we were riding was shot down by... Yes, you're a bit slow there, uh, big friend. Actually, our Exorcist 2 did a good job in shooting down that monster of an airplane. It was great. You should have seen it. Wow, my Bart missiles sure what? Sure, my Bart missiles sure were awesome. Arrgh, I won't forgive you so easily. And he beats the shit out of Bart, no doubt. I knew it. I thought this thing was floating unusual. You little. But 
even knowing that there's no way we can get hold it their mouth right they're right under us but covered by water and a thick wall you little it's probably Welswell and Virgie hold it for better or worse they've stuck by us this far but they are useless now at this point though you little It appears our gears are underneath here, Faye, but we can't reach them. What are you doing, Faye? Nothing. Uh, what am I doing? Can't you tell? I'm trying to catch a fish. This one's been jumping up and down right in front of me, trying to make me look like a fool. You little punk. I see you. Uh, um, you're not going to catch it and eat it, are you? If you don't, if we don't eat, we're going to die. All right, I got you. You're joking. You'll get sick. You're not going to eat? Let me see. We need something to cook it with. Dot dot dot. Hey, come on. Stop it. I'm not to blame if you get sick and die. Don't worry. Once it's in your stomach, it's all the same. I'm not going to... Fate, look there. What? Did the fish get away? What are you talking about? It's still there. What the... That's... What is it? I'm actually leaning my head up, I don't know why. It's a flying saucer, it's the one we saw before! Now what exactly is it? I do know what it is, because we're not quite to the point where I don't know stuff. That's the thing I saw in the desert, it's flying a lot higher this time. It's Shivat. Shivat. That's its usual altitude. Shivat. Where is that? F That's where Faye's fr parents are from. Shivat. Where have I heard? Yeah, that's right. That weird masked man. He said my father was in its military. So that sorcerer is what Doc and that masked man said was the country my father and mother lived in? Really? I wouldn't know. It's a country outside the reach of Solaris. Shevet uses the same kind of barrier that Solaris does, so you can't reach it by conventional means. How can something that flies that high in the sky be a country? Yes, I don't blame you for being so surprised. It usually hovers over re the region known as the Akruvi Island area. If they, you probably saw it on some sort of special mission, that's why it was flying so low. Shevet. Huh. Meanwhile, we cross over to Bart. Dot dot dot. Ouch. I guess the Bart missile weren't such a good idea, huh? We were able to save you and your friend, Seatum, but I wonder what happened to Faye and Ellie. I'm sure they're alive somewhere, and once again, Man, the sea breeze stings my eyes, so I this is what they call the sea. First of all, I have to apologize to those two. Go apologize, Bart. If we go in here, we can see that they're not here. What does the cigar have to say? Yagamasa, you should apologize to the two of them. Hmm. Well, we'll do that next episode, because I feel like this is about the point where we'd get into a bunch of story stuff, and it'd take like 15 more minutes. Anyway, my name's Benakinov. My name, my name, my name. My name's Benakinov. I hope you had a good time, a good night, or something like that anywhere. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Okay, see ya.